Welcome back guys, it's Italian Gaming and today we'll be continuing on with our time lapse series. Uh, first of all, going to cover a bunch of things that I did off camera and then we're going to get right into the time lapse. So without further ado, let's get right into it because we got a lot of stuff to cover and a lot of things to do. Let's make sure I hit the right button this time. All right, so first thing first we're going to cover is the monument slash pyramid. This is the spot once you've collected all five levers within the, the kingdom, you are going to come over here once it's all loaded in and you're gonna place the levers on these five blocks flip them all and ta-da you're done that's that's the end, end ending of the game not a huge finale but uh, at least it's it's something I, I wasn't sure what I wanted for the building and honestly I'm not really happy with the fact that it's just a basic pyramid with a gold top um, I'm thinking about doing something with the corners and making it more like desert temple-y but uh, that's not going to happen on camera. Currently, this is the last episode uh, because I need to get it out and published because basically I'm one day behind schedule. Hence why I did a bunch of this stuff off camera because uh, the camera work would have taken an extra time that I really didn't have time if I wanted to get this done, even close to, close to done on time. So, second thing to note is the farms. As you can see, I have completely made this land um, a farmland. Uh, I didn't really want to make this an episode uh, on making this because honestly it was a lot of me just like with with a, a hoe and seeds and just like basically running around just it, like farming all the land. It was, it was pretty tedious and really annoying. I managed to get some world edit to kind of help me out but it honestly was a little more hassle than it really should have been. I managed to get a, like a large portion of it with world edit, but a lot of like these weird little turns and stuff I couldn't really do. So, you know, basically just hand hand sewed all these and built a little pasture here for some cows, a little house for the farmer here, and it's even labeled because I figured make it obvious. Uh, I just realized that there's a little hole there. So yeah, and. It's furnished and looks all nice, got a little stove, nice little thing to kind of look out and watch the, uh, creepily watch the blacksmith do his work, bed and stuff. All the houses are currently furnished, there's not a single unfurnished, no that's not true, there are four unfurnished buildings, but that's because um, they, they, they've got some issues with them. They, they're sized weird and also they kind of, they, they have a purpose, you, you'll see when you explore the map. Uh, again, blacksmith, a little bit of an in-depth tour over here. Figured you might want to see everything. All right, here's like the, the furnace and all the, the cold chunks and everything. All right, moving on, we added, uh, well, I guess I added these wonderful little street lamps all the way throughout the village, even inside the village. I added a bunch of villagers just to make it seem a little more alive. And this guy spawned because I had enough villagers. But yeah, enough said about that. I'm going to get rid of it. It's gross. Um, yeah, so there's like a bunch of these. Uh, so this is a foreclosed one. Uh, you know, it's the person couldn't pay their rent and, you know, had to leave. So yeah, makes sense. Anyways, moving on. Uh, right after that, there's a bunch of a huge beautification project was on here. I really am not that good with making land look nice. I'm good at, I like terraforming. Usually I can make terraforming work pretty well, but when it comes to like blank spots where there should be like normal land, I have to like do something with it. So I just spammed a bunch of leaves, made it kind of look nice, made, added a little pond in a few spots, and then uh, moved on. Uh, right after that, moving uh, yeah, these are all also furnished inside and out, uh, both floors and everything. In another world, I had one of these laying around. It was a fort that I built just kind of when I first started getting back into Minecraft, and I really liked it, and I decided, you know what, uh, let's let's put it in here. This was my first attempt with World Edit, and it came out really well, so I decided just to honor that first build and put it in here. A little bit of work needs to be done off-camera again. A lot of off-camera work because most of it's like menial tasks, menial menial tasks. I think that's the word. But like continuing this road through and all that stuff. This I think this roof is new. I added it recently. I've changed it like three times because every time I do it, it's it's just 
gross. I, it's okay. I like it. I sort of like it now how it is, but it doesn't really fit with the rest of the thing. So I don't know. In today's episode, we'll be working on this uh, castle, and uh, this this one this one's the last thing I have to do, and then basically the rest of it is just tiny little projects. Maybe like bringing out the land a little bit. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Oh well. I'm not gonna go find it. It's now literally a, a wood block in a haystack. <laughs> um, so yeah, a bunch of little beautification bits. Um, I finished adding the road here, and that covers pretty much everything. Uh, three of the five um, levers have been hidden. Uh, one, it, it, well, technically not true. All four of them, four have been hidden. But the fourth one is kind of up in the air. I'm not really sure if I want to keep it there because it doesn't really have a challenge involved. One tests observation skills. One tests dexter dexterity. Uh, one tests, um, I don't even know. And the other one, I don't even know. So I guess maybe that's two up in the air. I kind of want to have a, t a small test for each one. But uh, I guess one's more thinking outside the box. So yeah. Alrighty, and without much delay, we really got to get into this because this project, I have a feeling, is going to take a while. Um, I have it all planned out, uh, at least the first floor, the second floor, and the third floor are going to be a little hard, but I mean, it's basically going to follow the same shape and, and stuff as, as this one. Uh, it's got a nice little extra wall around the building, so yeah, uh, without further ado. Oh, wait, 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 one last thing. Uh, I currently do not have a name for this village slash kingdom slash adventure map whatever it is and I would really like it if someone could maybe give me an idea for what the name should be and I would greatly appreciate that because I suck with names I was about to call this um, absolutely nothing actually just adventure lever land I don't know that's the best literally the best I came up I can come up with right now so, if you guys have any ideas for what to call it, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, be sure to like and uh, share if you enjoy this episode. And also comment down below to let me know what you guys think of literally anything. The video, uh, commentary, anything. That would be greatly appreciated. Alright, without further ado, let's get right into it.
Alrighty guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you so guys so much for watching. Before I leave though, before I uh, end this episode, I forgot to actually show you the uh, starting spawn room here. So when you first spawn into the world, make sure I hit the right button. I keep ending up hitting my stop record button instead of F5, so that's not good. When you first spawn, you start in this room. You have a little credit thing with my channel and a thanks for playing. Uh, you get some starting gear just because you'll be falling quite a bit probably jumping off of things. Uh, you'll have uh, kind of how to play uh, let's do F1. How to play book with like you know how do you play and uh, it's created by me. If you want to see the development go ahead and watch the videos that stuff. Uh, and then basically like a giant spoiler book, spoiler book if you don't know where the keys are. Um, and then you get some golden apples just yeah, moving on. Uh, and then you just kind of jump and um, uh, I haven't built the, uh, this is before I've built in the uh, the castle, so you'll, you'll see that later. Uh, so yeah, then you just jump with my very sarcastic uh, sign into the pool of water and you get started on your adventure. So that's wraps up the series. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more of this content. I will be having uh, I'm thinking about starting up just a normal monthly series where I do something similar to this, where I basically just create giant builds and um, over the course of a few weeks and just kind of time lapse them all together. If you want to see that, just feel free, feel free to subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next series slash episode, wherever that might be. Oops. So yeah. Um, see you guys in the next episode. Bye.